Hey Melinda, um, I have installed this plugin for us and I figured the easiest way to go through this since we can't see each other um, is to make a little video for you and I'm kind of going to walk you through it. After you get kind of the basics, we can also do a phone call. So I'm happy to talk you through some of like the layout choices and things like that too. I'm not exactly sure what you want yet. But the very first thing is we just need to um, link it to your Dropbox account. So if you can get that, that would be great. So let's do that first. I just did it with one of my accounts and then I deleted it. Um, so that's fine. You can like try it with accounts and then delete them, no problem. So what we're gonna do is go to out of the box, settings, general. We're gonna go to add account. And it's, if you are already logged into your Dropbox, so go ahead and log in first to your Dropbox account, the one you wanna use, or the Costellos Nunez one, whatever it is. Um, and I did, I did set it so it's supposed to be fine with business or team Dropbox accounts. I don't have one of those, so I'm not sure what the difference is, but if you guys have one of those, it should be fine. Um, anyway, so then you click allow. My internet's really slow today, so forgive me. Forgive my computer. Okay, so once we're um, linked, it should look something like this, except for it'll have your own account here. While we're still in settings, I kind of want to show you there's some other stuff here. The main thing I think you're going to end up using here might be the layout. And this is sort of a general layout. Um, you can set the layout for each individual like gallery or slideshow or whatever you're making as well. But this is a general for everything you do using this plugin. That's what they're asking you. So I already did the color palette for you. Um, spinner and images seem fine. We don't need to change those. But if you ever want to later, you can come back and change some of this stuff. Like you might want to change the color palette. Okay, but now let's go ahead and make a gallery. So I'm gonna go again to out of the box and then go to short code builder. So that's how this works, short codes. Okay, so the first thing it's gonna ask me, and this whole this whole line of questioning here is about this individual instance of Dropbox photos that I'm going to use. And I wanna make a photo gallery, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and choose photo gallery here. Okay, next I'm gonna go to content. And now it's gonna show you your Dropbox folders if you have multiple accounts. So you can actually link multiple Dropbox folders to this if you need to. Um, go ahead and uncheck this so that you can use multiple, but I have it checked right now because that was the default, I don't know why. Um, anyway, go ahead and choose some photos that you have. I have like almost nothing in my Dropbox because I use Google Drive, but <laughs> let's see what I got, okay. Got these dumb things. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to the folder where the things are that I want, right, that I wanna show. You can also do things like exclude images. So if you have a folder and you wanna use most things but not one or something like that, that's fine. Um, and you can do private folders. So this is kind of a cool thing. I don't know. I could see like you doing this for your board or something possibly, I don't know. But we can talk about that later if you want. It's kind of a neat little option. Okay, so we picked which content we wanted. I picked these three pictures. Um, and then what I really did, by the way, was pick the folder with those three pictures in it, just to be clear. Okay, so then layout, I'm gonna leave this as is, but just so you notice, you can change things here. 100% um, is a good thing to always leave this because it's going to be responsive, so it doesn't matter if you're gonna be on a tiny phone or a big old desktop screen, right? Um, but you can also do like 50% or something if you wanted to put it on the right or left side of the screen. Whatever, you get it. <laughs> Um, okay, so all this is fine. This is probably gonna be important here. Um, show file names, show descriptions on top. I'm not sure what kind of images we're using, but this is a possibility. There's also, oh, we're gonna go into it next, um, some sorting options. I'm not sure if you're gonna wanna use those or not. Um, you can also do things like set the height so that all the images are gonna be the same, crop your thumbnails, set a slideshow, all sorts of stuff like that if you want. Let's go to sorting. So I'm guessing you're not gonna use this because I'm guessing it's just kind of some gen general pictures, but there, there definitely could be instances where people would wanna sort images and you can, you can set that so that the actual end user can sort the images either by name, by size, by uh, last modified, anything, okay? Let's see what's under advanced, I forgot. Uh, none of this really matters. You're fine. Okay, exclusions was what I was mentioning to you. If you like wanted to choose a folder, but you realized that that folder had a whole bunch of JPEGs that you did want, but it also had some PDFs that you didn't want to show. You could uh, tell it to skip one particular file type, or um, you can tell it to skip individual files or folders within folders, all sorts of things like that, okay? Okay, so once I'm ready to go, and I've, I've chosen the, the choices I want, I'm gonna click on this embed, and it's gonna give me the shortcut. I'm gonna copy that to clipboard. 
Then I'm gonna go to whatever the pages that I wanna make. Um, so I think you're gonna end up putting this on the early, uh, what was it? Early Education Center, yep, um, page. But I'm just putting it on a fake page that I made called Testing Dropbox. So I already did this, but what you're gonna do is just get a text block of any sort. And then you're just gonna paste, oops, you're just gonna go ahead and paste that um, short code that they gave you right in there. And you're gonna paste it in the text tab, not the visual tab, okay? You also have these little guys here that will show any time that you, you add a text box to the screen. So you could also add it this way, which is kind of cool. And you could actually choose them that way. But I kind of like the set it up first thing because then you, you, know, you can choose how you want the gallery. You can do all sorts of stuff like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and preview it. Okay, so there are my three images right now because these are the settings that I set when I did that embed, right? You can download these. You may not want that functionality. I don't know. Um, so we can definitely stop, but I wanted to show you kind of more functionality. This, I also still have like search on, which you probably don't want, but you could. Um, and then refresh, which is probably something you want. So that'll probably be enough to at least get you linked up to your Dropbox account and playing a little bit. And then if you have a bunch more questions, which you may, um, let's do a phone call, okay? Uh, good luck. Hope everything's going great.